Hi everyone. Well, I'm in a different location today. Um, in my kitchen, it sounds kind of hollow, <laughs> I know. Um, but I had requests to show how I coffee stain some of my items um, that you saw in the uh, vintage journals that I just created. And um, so I wanted to show you uh, what I do is very minor. It is not an elaborate setup by any means and um, it's really simple and you guys can do it too so I'm going to show you what I do. So I just have a uh, dish here with some hot water and all I use is the cheapest instant coffee I can find. This happens to be uh, from Walmart and um, it's just like I said it's instant. It doesn't matter what it you know would taste like or anything as long as it's brown and it stains that's all you need. And I just use a couple of heaping tablespoonfuls and oh, two or three cups of water and uh, just stir it around until it um, until it's dissolved and you're, you'll you'll play with this and figure out what what's best for you whether you want it to be stronger and darker or you want it a thinner mixture I had some extra water here just in case I needed it, but I don't think I'm gonna need that. All right, so um, this actually was a couple of tablespoon, heaping tablespoons in, I guess it was two cups of water because I used one of those measuring cups full. Okay, so once that's dissolved, which doesn't take very long, you just, Put your things in. Like I said, I don't consider this an elaborate thing at all. I've got a couple of doilies that I'm going to color and um, just take the spoon and uh, kind of push them down into the mixture. Isn't this beautiful? I thought that would make a beautiful vintage uh, doily because of the flower pattern there. I thought it was beautiful. And I have another little small white one. I'm going ahead and putting uh, the things in that I want to color just so that while I'm talking to you, showing you some of the things I've already colored, these can be staining. And that way you can see how it doesn't take very long. Now the doilies are very, very uh, thin, so they're going to be really delicate when they're wet, so you have to be you know, especially careful with those. Here's a piece of uh, eyelet lace. It's just your typical cotton lace. So just drop that in there. This one is um, another really pretty one, and it's um, I think it's going to be more of a uh, polyester type lace. And they stain well too, and <clears throat> some of the ones I've done already have been like a polyester type lace. Now I haven't done this particular lace, so we'll see how it does, but I think it'll do, I think it'll do just fine. Um, I've got a couple of little small manila tags, all right, and they're the, the sturdy kind, but they, they stain just fine. Okay, but though, <clears throat> actually I've got three or four of those, I'll go ahead and drop those all in because they're small. Now you can do this in a bigger dish and do large sheets of paper and, you know, all kinds of stuff like that. I'm just doing a small bit, and typically this is what I do. I just do a small container like this at a time, and I don't make a big, um, I, don't, I just don't have a big elaborate setup. It, for me, it's not necessary because I typically do smaller things. This is a piece of, um, it's like a little index card, only it's got grid, uh, grid pattern on it. Boy, this smells so good. <laughs> Um, here's a tag that's uh, printed. It was bought that way with a, a book type uh, print on it. And I'm going to put that in there. I know my lighting and everything is different. I have a thunderstorm happening right now. So I'm sorry about all of the uh, differences in the video for today. But this, is, this one is a special occasion. You know, doing something like this. I wanted to do it. Uh, I didn't want to take a container of hot, dark coffee upstairs. My uh, my art room is carpeted, so <laughs> I'm careful with my paints and stuff, but carrying a hot dish with coffee, I just didn't want to tackle that. So <laughs> here's just a little illustration from a children's book. 
going to drop that in there. It's an old, like from the 60s kind of book. All right, this is a piece of tissue paper that I had stamped, and so I thought I'd give that a try and uh, see what that looks like. Hopefully it won't uh, tear up on me because, of course, it's going to be really delicate, but we'll see what happens. I'm not going to be upset if it tears. It's, it is tissue paper. All right, here's a piece of uh, music paper, and it's one that I had uh, used when I was doing some deli, uh, jelly printing at one time. So I'm going to put that in. See what happens. And I've got a couple of pages of book text. This one has um, some Chinese uh, printing on it. So I'm going to put that in. Oh, here's another one of those little tags. And um, a regular book uh, page from a book. All right, so this one's a little bit larger than the dish, but I think it'll be okay. It will soak up the coffee. Okay, so while this is sitting here and everything is submerged in the coffee, let me show you uh, some of the ones that I had already done. And some of, some of this type of stuff I used in those vintage, um, those vintage journals. This piece is um, the eyelet. The eyelet lace like what I just put in there, and so it's it stains up real nicely. This is a piece of muslin, just torn. And I like to tear it because then you get the, the fun frayed edges and all the strings, and it looks really old. You know, it adds to the, the old quality of it. Here's another piece of fabric with strings. <laughs> okay, this was a piece of... Um, of aqua color, turquoise colored uh, gingham type fabric, <clears throat> fabric, and uh, it just stained up beautifully. And like I said, it doesn't take very long. I just leave these things sitting in here for a little bit. Um, this is a piece of some of the lace I used in that journal, and it's um, it's more of the polyester uh, type of lace. Here's a piece of uh, twill tape, and. I don't know if you can get that in focus. Everything behind me is focused. Uh, and it's got a dotted pattern on, uh, a blue dotted pattern on one side. And um, it's stained up pretty well. I like the way that looks. And then here's some other tags. Some of those, you know, sturdy tags. These happen to have been uh, white. And I'll leave the strings on too, by the way. Uh, the strings stain right up with the tags. So if you have any little tags that have strings, uh, go ahead and uh, throw that in too because that just gives them an old look. You want your, your strings and things to look uh, just as old as the tag that you're, you're putting them on. So, so these all got stained up nice and brown. And I even stained up some of these little tags that have the metal, um, the metal around them. And uh, they turned out looking really cool. So I don't know if my camera's doing a very good job of focusing up close today. It's in, like I said, it's a different positioning and different things are, um, it's focusing on different things in the background, so. All right, and here's some of that piece, uh, some of those pieces of the uh, ledger paper that I had, uh, that I had uh, stained and used in my journals. And uh, they stain up real nice, and, um, and they have a nice crinkly, uh, nice crinkly feel to them and I don't put these in the oven or anything to dry them out I just take them as when I take them out of the dish I just lay them out on paper towels and um, and uh, let them dry uh, you can of course put them in the oven but I uh, and I know it needs to be like a, a warm oven like 200 degrees nothing really hot and you've got to watch it and everything but for me and with the time constraints that I have I, I don't want to have to stand over and watch something so Unless I've set aside a, a whole day just to do something like that, I'm going to be doing it like this, and I'm going to be, you know, transferring things to paper towels. Um, there's paper towels here on top of a, um, a vinyl type table tablecloth. It's it's folded up. Just whoo, that was big and scary. <laughs> um, it's folded up just to the size that I needed. But this is a tablecloth that we typically put out when I'm uh, doing art and things with my grandkids on at the kitchen table. So you want to protect your surface, especially if it's a surface that you don't want to be coffee stained because you, it will leave stains when you lay things out on paper towels and things. You want to have something underneath those paper towels. 
All right, so this uh, book paper, let me see if I can lift it out. It's, kind of, it's at the top, but it's, um, it's already nice and, uh, and brown colored. And what I'm gonna do is just lay these out. I know that you may not see the entire uh, sheets, and I'm using some little tongs just because I don't want to put my hands <clears throat> in the coffee and get my fingers and my nails all stained up. But uh, the tongs are working fine for me. And um, anything that is not as dark as you would like it to be, just leave it in longer. It's, just, it's that simple. Or you can make your coffee mixture even stronger if you'd like. Now this is that piece of tissue paper. I am gonna to have to put my fingers in for this because I, I don't want it to tear, but of course it did already. So I'm gonna lay it out and then maybe I can pick it apart. Here we go. There we go. I've got a wet paper towel over here to wipe my hands on. <clears throat> if I do have to get them in there. Now it looks like all those little tags, the uh, the little um, hole reinforcers have come off because they, they must have just been glued in place there. So I'll be uh, adding those back to those tags later. I'm gonna just lay them out there as I see them. Okay, here's our, uh, here's our vintage uh, picture from the children's book. And you can further, um, Distress these, uh, by the way, with some like di distress ink. I use usually like Vintage Photo, uh, the Tim Holtz distress inks, and um, <clears throat> and that helps. You know, you can distress around the edges if you feel like it needs a little bit more. Okay, here's that uh, tag with the uh, text printed on it. And let's see, now we've got the doilies here. Gotta be careful with the doilies. Well, wait, there's some lace here first. And if you don't get all of your um, staining done <clears throat> when you set out, you know, and something happens and you've got to stop and go do something else, you can put this uh, dish of coffee mixture in the refrigerator and it'll keep for several days and you can just come right back to it. I typically will warm it up again. I don't know if that's necessary. That's just what I do. Um, I just feel like the hot coffee is gonna stain better than, than the cold will, but that may not be necessarily the case. All right, there's I think all of those little pieces from the tags. And here's the tag. Oops, there's some more. <laughs> They're popping up. All right, let's lay these tags out. They stained up nice. Of course, they were already a manila color to start with, but, but they look cool. Get the rest of this up. Okay, let's see now. I think the doilies are next. Yeah. Ooh, gotta be a big one bright lightning. Okay, so the, the doilies are, have torn just a tiny bit, you know, where the cut, where the punched out holes and things are. So you just want to gently bring them over and lay them out and they'll be fine. They'll still be usable and they'll still work just fine for you once they're dry. Okay. I'm going to move this dish over a little bit so I have room. That's doily tore just a little bit. This one is very, very fragile because it's got all this uh, large holes on it. Let's see if we can get this tag off here. There we go. And they're tearing. Like I said, the doilies are very delicate, but they'll be so pretty. Even even glued onto a tag or something. Wow. <laughs> okay. A lot of thunder and lightning. All right. So anyway, that's all that I had in this dish. 
Okay, and like I said, I'll probably continue and, and stain a few more items, and then if, if I want, I'll stain some more tomorrow just by putting this in the refrigerator and um, be able to use it. But that's, a, that's how simple this process is. Uh, just another note too, sometimes I will add, um, I will add a little coffee to, um, to, the, to the items, like you can wet them down again like this and put a few granules of um, the instant coffee on there and it will um, kind of start dissolving and it'll leave some nice little uh, stained marks. I'll show you. <clears throat> as long as you've got your paper towels and everything down, you're gonna <clears throat> you're gonna have everything protected pretty well for all this wetness. I don't think I wet those again. I need to get some more on those. <clears throat> and then you just, whatever doesn't dissolve, you can just brush off later. And um, when it's dry, you can brush it away and everything's good. But anyway, those will leave some nice dark stained marks on your, um, on your items. Okay. So anyway, I hope you guys will uh, feel more confident about uh, staining now that you see that it's it's really a very simple procedure, and I really uh, like using the instant coffee as opposed to the brewed coffee. I feel like I can control how, how thick uh, or how dark the brew is um, better with this, and um, I just feel like it does a better job. So get you some really cheap instant coffee and just have fun uh, making you some cool vintagey looking old uh, papers and laces and fabrics. Uh, you can make all of this stuff and it looks so cool and old when it's really not. All right, well, I guess that's enough of the storm that you need to hear. <laughs> and um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.